What up, y'all? What's good? It's your man, V-Third, back again with the trade review from 11 8 And I, I won't hold y'all too long. I actually didn't take a trade yesterday. Now, you see all these lines. There was a lot of stuff going on, but I didn't actually trade anything. But what we can go ahead and do is see what was made available by the market and See if there were some trades to be had here. So let's go ahead and check this out. We got our nice TVSI. We're looking at the NASDAQ right now. So if you do recall, we were looking for price to come back up into this little zone here. Very little, right? Let's go ahead and circle this guy. In this zone right there. And we were looking to trade off of that. And so we had formed a range here, as you can see. That's what we did yesterday. So we were saying, okay, well, first we could come down here and sell or buy up and we could sell down, right? But what ultimately ended up happening was we, what did we find? We found support somewhere else, it looks like. Or we found somewhere else to trade off of. Came down below this zone, came back up, slightly bounced off, but then ultimately shot up pretty pretty high well, let's cancel that cancel that and let's check where let's check this out yeah moved about one percent almost two percent that was pretty good pretty good now we're looking how long did that take about a, that was about an hour worth of moves and so when did this move start it began at 803 so well Technically, it began at, yeah, 803. This is one minute. Oh, duh. I mean, I'm not looking at it correctly. This is 803 right here. So, 804, 805. Around 805, the move actually started. So, we can look down here and, yeah, I mean, we got, we got a trigger wave. We got an anchor wave. We got a trigger wave that's actually defined uh, above the negative 15 line. So I guess technically you could say, hey, we could have taken this for a buy to go up. But alas, we did not. And so then we see price just moving along, right? Starts to move sideways. And then we have a night, a pretty drastic move down around 11, which about 1, 1 p.m. Eastern. And it just kept moving down until we got to about noon 30 and then it had a nice little rebound off of this area down here which we drew in yesterday Looked like it came slightly through but ultimately ended up coming back up and let's go ahead and yep so now we're it looks like we're starting to move down again yeah we had this come down here. Well, it's starting to move down again. So that is pretty much the review on the NASDAQ. Didn't take any trades yesterday, but you see price is starting to do something, right? It's a little under the 30 minute. And the fascinating thing about all of this, right? So let's let's get back uh, our drawings here. And let's look at, so check this out. All that on the one minute, look what it looks like on the 30 minute, entire time frame. It looks like nothing, right? Nothing. We had one large move down, come back up, but it ultimately broke the structure. So we could potentially see obviously more down movement. It looks like this 200 started to move up, but I, I think this is pretty much fake out here. I think we're gonna end up breaking below here to go lower, but we'll go ahead and talk about that as a trade idea. Let's look at the Euro. See what happened on it all right so it looks like we broke through the supply that we're looking at pretty aggressively we didn't quite tap into this demand zone that we were expecting unfortunately unfortunately or fortunately whatever you want to consider it and now it looks like we came up here we're forming some we wicked above this previous high. So I think maybe we 
continue to pull back. It looks like we're already pretty bearish. We'll continue to pull back down in here somewhere. We'll talk about that in the trade idea. So anyways, that is my review of 11.8. Go ahead and hit the comments, likes, and subscribe. Continue with me on my journey to become a successfully profitable. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.